So our Vikings insider Cody Benjamin from CBSSports.com is here to break down the game. Cody, good morning. Good morning. I, I'm I'm glad to be back with you. I just feel like it, it wouldn't have been right to come in and celebrate this win. I mean, it right. felt kind of like a loss almost. So it, I, but thank you for having me back. Anyway. <laughs> See, Cody, I don't know. For people who follow this show, you know, we told Cody early on in the season he could only come into the studio when they win. Otherwise, he's not allowed back in. So I... Uh, how would you describe that win? I, you know, I've heard it be called gritty, not so pretty. I mean, Parker Romo, great. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously a win is a win in the NFL. They're hard to come by, and we've seen that for the Vikings the last few weeks. Um, there are things to take away on both ends. I think you you obviously have to have concern, first and foremost, with Sam Darnold and the offense. I mean, the offense is still moving the ball. But the the critical turnovers have been there, and that's that's something that was lacking early in the season for the better. Um, you know, coming out of the gate, we talked about how Sam Darnold was so composed; he was taking care of the ball, even when he would turn over the ball, he would kind of bounce back. Lately, it's it's been you know the the Vikings have still they've yet to lose a game because of Sam Darnold, but he certainly tried to do that these last few weeks. Um, you know, six turnovers the last two games. Um, they didn't score, you know, a touchdown against the Jaguars. And that was a Jaguars team that was missing their starting quarterback that had one of the worst defenses in the NFL. And so that's that's a major concern. You need Sam Darnold to kind of become what he was at the beginning of the season. It's been since late September that the Vikings have have really handily beaten a team, you know, by multiple scores. And so the offense is really something that that is concerning moving forward. So you have a lot of concerns. <laughs> Why should fans remain optimistic? Yeah, you're going to the other side of the ball. I mean, I, I think that the defense, you know, on offense with Sam Darnold, they're turning the ball over, but the defense is still taking the ball away. They've got 20 takeaways, which leads the NFL. They've still got weapons, too, for Sam Darnold. I mean, TJ Hawkinson just getting back into the mix. Justin Jefferson obviously still there. This is a case where, you know, you would normally say that you, you can't throw to Justin Jefferson too much. But if Sam Darnold would maybe just spread the ball around a little bit, and that's on Kevin O'Connell as well, uh, balance it out on offense. The defense is still doing its job, taking the ball away so much that they're in games. And so if there's confidence, yeah, you can bet on Brian Flores' defense to keep you in games moving forward. And, and this stretch, too, against the AFC South, it's been ugly against the Colts. It's been ugly against the Jaguars. You get another bad team in the Titans this weekend. A chance to boost your confidence. I, I like where your head's at, Cody. All right, thank you. Thanks so much.